Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Pacer Performance High 5 Truck Cab Light Kit. This is going to be the teardrop style with a red lens instead of an amber lens. And basically what the, this kit is going to do is give us either uh, a new kit to go on top of our vehicle or replace an old cab light kit. So we'll have our red lenses and this is going to make us more visible when we're out on the road. Typically with the red lens you're going to have these pointed towards the rear of the vehicle since a red lens usually indicates a uh, the rear side of your trailer or your vehicle so that other drivers know where you are. I have seen some people mount these front ways. It's kind of up to you but typically the uh, DOT standard is to have these rear facing. So just something to keep in mind there. But it's going to make you more visible out on the road so other drivers can see you, see where you are, and uh, move accordingly or just be aware that you're there. Especially in areas where there's a lot of inclement weather, rain, snow, fog, sleet, things like that. So everything you see here on the table is what's going to come in the kit. And I'm going to show you guys how basically to get it set up to be installed. So you'll get these little connectors and this just needs to be pushed through the socket for the housing. So if we open this up, can push it through the hole in the back. And then this just makes our bulb kind of spring-loaded so it provides the tension to keep it in the socket there. And then you just want to wire, uh, route your wire through the grommet. That grommet helps to keep out any water or debris from getting into our vehicle. You could also put a little silicone sealant on there if you want to just be extra uh, cautious. I might do that if it were me, but not necessary, really. So we'll take our bulb and push that down in there. You see now I've got that little um, disc in the socket and the springs behind it. So it's going to provide us with that tension for our bulb. This is going to be a 67 or 67 bulb type. There are LEDs that are uh, fit for this. This kit obviously doesn't come with them, but they are out there. So if you wanted to upgrade this to an LED kit, it really wouldn't be that hard. You just have to um, get the right bulb for it. So I'm going to connect my power and ground. Red goes to power, white goes to ground. Turn this guy on and you'll see our light comes on. So that's basically what these are going to look like. We turn the lights out in the studio. You can see, oop, my wires came undone. So that shouldn't happen for you guys because you'll have it properly connected. But that's basically what it looks like illuminated in the dark. I'll disconnect my wires and then we can go over what else comes in the kit. We'll get our quick splice connectors, so that's where you're going to make your electrical connection. It's all going to run off of the one main wire that comes with our kit. So we'll have this long wire runs all between all five of these. Quick splice it in there with the connectors and should be good to go. You will have to do some drilling to get this installed since there are two mounting holes for each light to get this in place. So if you didn't already have mounting holes uh, from an, a pre-existing kit, you will have to do some drilling. So just keep that in mind. You might also need to drill a third hole for your wiring to drop down through. Uh, and when I say might, I actually mean you will need to drill another hole for the wire to come through. Um, the other wire that comes with it is going to have a fuse on there, so that's going to keep everything protected. The terminals on the end fit onto the switch, so you can bypass your factory wiring. The reason why you'd want to do that is because if you're putting this on anything that's under warranty still, hard wiring into your vehicle's electrical system can sometimes void that warranty. So bypassing it is a good idea in those cases. If you're not under warranty or you just don't really care, then you know as long as you have a basic mechanical knowledge and you feel comfortable doing it, no reason why you can't. We've got all the screws to get everything in place, the hardware to attach the lens to the housing, and then the hardware to attach the switch if you want to use it. That's basically it as far as the kit. It is a universal fit, so it'll go on just about anything. That gasket is also going to help it to conform to different roof levels if it's going to be straight or curved or flat or curved. As far as the size for each light housing, I'm going to take this grommet off. It's a really important part. It's going to be this plastic piece. 
So that's about five and five eighths inch long by two and three eighths inch wide and about one and seven eighths inches tall. Our pad here is right about six inches by two and seven eighths and it's about an eighth of an inch thick. This SAE certified or meets SAE certificate specifications. Bulb type again is number 67. It does have a 60 day limited warranty and that's pretty much all there is to it as far as getting this in place. So I hope this video has been helpful in determining whether or not this is going to be the right kit for you. If the teardrop style is also available in amber with the incandescent bulbs and also in amber with the LED bulbs. And you can check those out right here at eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.